Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, it's my pleasure and honor to open this year's virtual conference of the Austrian Association of Molecular Life Sciences and Biotechnology. These are difficult times and therefore we had to react and to act accordingly. As Austria's largest life science organization, it's our duty to provide our members and the scientific community with conferences, scientific exchange platforms, career opportunities, and information. Therefore, earlier this year, right at the peak of the crisis, the board of our association took a principal decision of great consequence. We decided that our yearly meeting should take place whatever would come and regardless how the pandemic would present this fall. The board decided for a virtual conference in a very special and new format that will be introduced to, the, to you today, a bit later by the organizers and by Alexandra Kasidov. As you know, our yearly meeting rotates between Vienna, Salzburg, Innsbruck and Graz, and this year's term was Graz. A big, big challenge for the local organizers and the ÖGMBT back office team as well. But they managed in the most remarkable way, and after several months of hard work and tedious preparation, this new and unique meeting format was born. Thousand thanks to Harald Bichler in Graz and Helmut Bergler and the entire local organizing committee in Graz. They really took up this challenging task in the most remarkable way and were greatly supported and guided by our back office team, which is headed by Alexandra Kasidov and with expert support by Andrea Bauer, Birgit Butz, and last but not least, Walter Glaser who makes all these IT solutions possible for us. Without all of you, this never would have been possible. Once more, the ÖGMPT takes on an important pioneering role for this unique initiative and thus helps to strengthen our communication structures in the life science area, even if an unbelievable pandemic is raging outside and everything threatens to fall apart. The meeting will start today with this kickoff event, which was meant to be some kind of a hybrid venture with a real lecture room meeting today at the campus um, in St. Mark's in Vienna, combined with a streaming through our online platform. You will hear plenary lectures from leading scientists and get insights into the latest corona research conducted in Austria. The detailed program uh, will be introduced to you. And um, we uh, will have also our much appreciated exhibition events. They will this year be an interactive virtual exposition with live chat and live video calls and Alexandra will explain that to you also in detail. And we have a new format. These are the Life Science Tuesdays. And these Tuesday meetings, they will last for the entire semester. There will be a batch before Christmas and a batch after Christmas. And this will also be introduced to you where we go on air and stream scientific talks and scientific conference formats. Therefore, <clears throat> I would also like to express my gratitude towards the many exhibitors and the companies who continued to support us even in difficult times and who took up together with us this very challenging new format. It's an experiment and we hope that it will work out. Having such meetings, even in difficult times, is very important. Science needs communication. Science needs exchange. Science needs awareness in the public. Science needs support by our government and by our authorities. Science is the pulse and the heartbeat of our society. We are Austria's largest and most important life science association. And we have therefore the responsibility to cultivate and foster our community by 
providing a safe harbor site for scientists in our country. We have many hurdles in front of us. We have to show the public and the politicians <clears throat> that we can contribute to the health and to the wealth of our nation through the many exceptional researchers and research institutions within Austria. The best indicator for a lively and creative science culture in a country are the upcoming young scientists. Therefore, and most importantly, today in the afternoon, we will introduce Austria's rising stars in life science, and we will proudly announce and honor the winners of the Life Science Awards Austria 2020. My deeply felt thanks go to the Federal Ministry of Digital and Economic Affairs for their generous support. This generous support made it possible to present and to honor this year again the most promising young scientists in our country. Remember, science is the capital and the crisis proof reserve of a country. And the future oriented currency of this capital reserve are you, you young scientists. The Bögi MPD will continue to organize and maintain science as integral part of our culture. You all are Bögi MPD. You are the rock where this house is built on. Leave your responsibility by actively participating in this year's meeting. The new format will meet the needs and challenges of a new period in our lives caused by this pandemic. But these unfortunate circumstances cannot frighten nor frustrate us out of the way. We are well prepared to master this worldwide crisis and we will continue and we will succeed. With these words, I would like to close. Enjoy our meeting and also participate actively in this meeting and in the Tuesday events and do it regularly throughout the next months. Best regards from Dreyroll, your Lucas Huber. Thank you very much, Lucas. Um, also, a warm welcome from my side. Uh, nine years ago, I, I had the honor to organize the fourth Ugimitiano meeting in Graz. Um, it was my personal challenge because it was my first meeting ever. And now, nine years later, we are here at a meeting which was originally planned in Graz, but uh, in any way, it is, um, it is a virtual event and is accessible to everyone from Austria and outside. Um, when the decision was made to make a virtual meeting, we thought about how to keep this, uh, this spirit of UGMBT annual meetings also in this virtual format. And this was quite a challenge for us, um, for the whole team and also for the board and organizing committee. In special, it was very, um, very important for us to keep the interactivity also in this virtual format. Uh, all of us knows uh, at the meetings, we meet old colleagues, uh, we, we meet new people and uh, exchange ideas and learn from each other. And everyone who visited the Ugimitel meetings in the past know that um, the, the meeting is more than a normal scientific conference um, with, our, um, with our career topics and um, workshops and so on. Yes, it was quite a big challenge for us to bring all this in a virtual format. And um, for sure, not everything will go perfect this time because it's our first run, but we will learn uh, continuously from each other and we'll try to improve. Last week, you have received this conference guide by Surface Mail and um, also this special edition of um, Zotta Chocolate. I hope you enjoyed um, the chocolate while uh, going through this uh, conference guide. This will um, guide you through the kickoff event and it has something special um, in the centerfold. Um, these mini posters for each Life Sense Tuesdays, which can be tear out. So please tear them out, stick them uh, in your lab or anywhere where your colleagues can see it. And yes, uh, don't keep it just for you share with your colleagues this information. 
Yeah, um, as you know from the on-site meetings, all of us, we have uh, such a name, badges. So also here in the virtual format, I kindly ask you to um, put on your name, first name, last name, and your affiliation um, to your account. This can be made by clicking to the three dots on the right upper side of your image and uh, just rename um, Yes, um, so we can uh, get in contact with, uh, with each other easily. Yeah. Um, we have, um, as you can see also on the back side um, of the conference uh, guide, we have a lot of supporters. As Lucas mentioned, uh, we, had, we have companies on board who are going with us this way um, to the virtual format and uh, who have proven their loyalty and innovative spirit. We have, um, an, uh, we will have a virtual expo for the next six months, which will accompany the um, uh, kickoff event and um, Life Science Tuesdays. And um, um, details will be, um, will be shown to you uh, tomorrow at the session, My Life Science Tuesday. This virtual expo is an open format, so you can visit uh, throughout the six months, uh, 24 seven, and the exhibitors will offer also a special, special hours for you to get in talk to, uh, contact with them by, um, by video, video, um, video calls and text chats. Yeah, uh, this year we have also a special format. Um, and it will uh, be launched um, on Wednesday. It is the Austrian Life Science Career Fair, which is a career platform and it's a continuation of our initiatives for young scientists. So also this uh, will be um, explained in detail on Wednesday where we have our kickoff event. Yes, at this point, um, I would like to thank all um, co-organizers in Graz uh, Harald and Helmut and would like also to uh, invite them to have some uh, welcome words to you. Thank you, Alexandra. Thank you, Lucas, for your introductory words. Um, it is the science that was our part, but I would like first to start with thanking Alexandra, Andrea and Walter who have prepared the grounds for us so that our scientific contribution uh, can hopefully perfectly fit in. In designing the program, we've had two major goals. The first goal was to match science that is of relevance in Graz to the science that is of relevance all over Austria and beyond. Uh, and you will see it with the Life Science Tuesdays and also sessions today. It was our desire to have two chairs for most of the sessions in the ideal case one chair from Graz, one chair from um, any other place. That was the one goal to build bridges um, among our society members and hopefully future society members that join us uh, today. The second goal that we tried to reach was that we would like to have young scientists um, to in the meeting and to have them pre uh, present their work and to present themselves because uh, young scientists are our future. And as poster presentations obviously are not possible in the format that we have now, uh, we have uh, designed this concept of Life Science Tuesdays, including science flashes and some formats that we hope that you will like them um, and that can be a benchmark for future events of this kind. And with these words, I would like to hand over to Helmut to uh, shortly say a few words as well. Thank you, Harald. Uh, so, also a warm welcome from me. I also want to thank Andrea and, and Alexandra and Walter for their support. Without their support, this meeting would not have been um, possible. Um, as Harald already mentioned, a main goal of this conference is to, to, to foster young um, investigators. And, um, um, uh, but um, we also wanted to not only to show you um, um, the, um, uh, some of the research going on in, in Graz and in Austria, but we also wanted to, to bring in, in some um, new um, 
stuff. So, so we selected the topics of the meeting also according to, to what we think um, will be important in the next um, 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 decade. Um, so, and this was the reason why to choose this, this um, uh, title of the conference, Biomolecules in and for the 21st centuries. So this is also reflected by the, already by the um, kickoff meeting, um, where you can see um, topics, corona research, will, will, which will accompany us um, for the next couple of years, but also cryoam, which um, gave a, a, a large boost to the science um, in the last years. And also aging research will also be an, an important theme for the next decade. Um, and, um, and further on, um, this is also reflected by the, by the Life Science Tuesday. And, and uh, my uh, job here is now to, to give you a short overview over the Life Science Tuesday. Uh, Helmut, may, uh, I, may I start with the kick of days? Pardon? May I start with the kick of days in general? Yes, please, please. Harald. Okay, I'll share okay. my screen. And I hope you will all see uh, what is the design of the kickoff days. So in general, for the program that we are up to, we have fulfilled a dual, dual strategy. The first was to maintain the originally planned time of the conference. And this we do by having these kickoff days. That means today, tomorrow and Wednesday. And as we all know, online conferences are a bit hard to take longer than two hours a piece. Uh, so we decided to have two sessions um, each day, one in the morning from 10 to 12, one in the afternoon from three to five, and that for three consecutive days. Uh, and we would have first this opening ceremony and then as our times are influenced quite a bit by the coronavirus, we were interested in what corona research is like in Austria. So we uh, tried to uh, get uh, three very interesting speakers and interesting topics into this session. What is going on in Austria? Of course, this will not be complete. This is something we will start in a few minutes, this session. Uh, in the afternoon, the Life Science Awards, which you, as you see here, will be also able to follow live on YouTube. Uh, and the same goes for all of the afternoon sessions of the kickoff days. Then uh, kick of day two tomorrow in the morning, it will be cryo M in the 21st uh, century. In the afternoon, uh, we have asked all chairs of these Life Science Tuesdays um, to give an overview of what the Life Science Tuesdays will be like. Uh, and on the third day of the kickoff, so that means on Wednesday, we will have two hours of healthy aging in the 21st century as the first session in the morning and in the afternoon, uh, the career opportunities in life science as already introduced by Alexander Kasidov. So uh, stay tuned with these um, sessions, spread the word and especially spread the word also about the My Life Science Tuesday event on Tuesday and the Life Science Tuesdays over the next half year. Um, in, please invite your colleagues, your peers. Uh, there's still room for further talks, especially for the later uh, Tuesdays. And with these words, I would like to pass on to Helmut Bergler once more for a closer introduction of the My Life Science Tuesday event tomorrow because uh, there are many more sessions to be found there. Okay, thank you Harald. So, um, the, uh, as I mentioned, or as, as was said already by, by Harald and, and the other speakers, um, the, the uh, Life Science Tuesdays um, were mainly designed that to, to give the, the um, young scientists the opportunity to, to show their results here. And um, so we selected um, interesting topics, as I mentioned before, which we regard as important for the next decade. And this, gives you, this slide gives you an overview about the topics we selected. This is, of course, not a, a full list or a complete list, which is going, what is going on um, in Austria. This would not be possible in the time frame. Um, but um, 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 at least we have selected some uh, very interesting topics. 
and um, um, the, the Life Science Tuesdays um, start with 6th of October and, um, um, and um, we have six um, um, uh, Life Science Tuesdays um, in 2020 and additional six Life Science Tuesdays in 21. So um, um, the um, Life Science Tuesdays, you can um, uh, um, send your abstracts for, the, for most of these Life Science Tuesdays still now. So you can register it also to do individual uh, functions or in the individual um, um, uh, sessions of this Life Science Tuesdays. Um, um, so please um, take part um, in this um, um, Life Science Tuesdays and, and send your abstracts for short talks or, or um, presentations. So, um, um, this um, the, the general structure of such a life science Tuesday is that that you have um, that it starts with a um, 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 with an invited lecture um, and um, afterwards there are three short talks um, which are selected by the chairs of the individual um, um, sessions um, and um, af after the short talks um, there are science flashes. Um, which reflect the, the poster presentation actually. So, so this um, uh, science flashes and short talks, they are also um, they are also awarded. So when you when you send your your abstract, um, you can also um, take um, part in the um, in the in this competition. And um, there are several um, categories for which are awarded. So that the, the uh, scientific um, um, best presentation and also the, the most creative presentation. So make sure that you um, that you send your abstract um, to the to the life science Tuesdays. Um, this is just an, an short overview and um, a detailed um, um, program and also um, where you can get the chairs of the individual sessions uh, is presented tomorrow. Uh, at 3 p.m. So please um, um, uh, visit the, the session My Life Science Tuesday because there you have the possibility to, to get to know the, the chairs of the individual sessions. You can talk and interact with them and they will not only uh, present the invited speaker but they will give you an overview over the program and um, the, the general topic and they will shortly present also their own research. So this is a good opportunity to to see also what's going on um, in Austria. 